Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Tap saw does a nice job. Of course, you go broke buying the extension cord. Or you could be like this. Tesla driver. Keep that. Or you can be like a Tesla driver, keep track of your mileage and make sure you find a place to charge this thing before you need to. But then again, I'm taking it to the place where I'm going to burn it, so it's not like I got to walk a long ways. And as far as asking where does the wood come from, well, it falls from the heavens like the rain. No live trees were harmed in the making of this video.
Now I have a nice bundle of firewood. And just in time for the season to be ending, but you know, you work towards a goal, you don't necessarily reach it on time, but you work towards it. Man, it's got to know his limitations. Well, <clears throat> the three bundles on the chair and the one that I put over in the rack add up to four bundles. Four bundles at $6.98 a piece. Yeah, I don't know why they do the 98 cents, but that's what it does. Anyways, price. A year ago it was five bucks a bundle. It had been that way for years. But uh, now the price at Harding's is uh, $6.98 a bundle. Might as well call it seven bucks. So, going with that, four times seven, rounded up, comes to $28. Therefore, I made more money off the firewood I cut from this video, for this video, 
by adding up the four bundles at seven dollars a piece rounding up the price of course uh, that gets it to 28 bucks which is about the uh, lifetime income for most of the videos quite often much less than that so this video has made me 28 bucks just starting out and I had to do the work anyways so if you want to save yourself some money and you're burning firewood Cutting your own firewood instead of buying some, you know, having somebody come in with a truck and dump off a cord, pay, I don't know how much cord it is now. Uh, last time I knew, which was a couple of years ago, they wanted close to $100 for a cord of wood delivered. Last time I delivered firewood that I cut was, uh, oh God, so long ago, I don't even want to think about it. Uh, <laughs> and the price was much less because I just wanted to get rid of it. Had a wood burner in the workshop, but I had cut down three giant maple trees in the front yard. Actually, the county came along and cut them down because uh, they had died, and I was tired of picking up the sticks, and I was worried about one of them falling on the road and hurting somebody. So the county came down and cut them down very nicely for me, cut them down, ground out the stumps, did the whole thing for free. Well, other than the taxes that I paid. But that was at the old house, and it was uh, Branch County. Branch County's a different place than Kalamazoo County. Never had to deal with that over here. Hope I don't. In any case, uh, I made myself a bunch of money in trade. You know, I get the firewood. And I have a fireplace in the house, and I have a wood burner here in the workshop, which I didn't need to use all winter. I heated the place with a propane heater the one time I didn't want to. Uh, so, making money hand over fist, every day is a better day, and we just keep going from here. So, buck saw, chop saw, whatever kind of saw you're using, when you cut your own wood, it each four times. If you have any suggestions for new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or the legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.